Hello, Asalaamu As Alaikum, and welcome back to Shannara Vlogs. I hope you're all well. This is my back garden, and it's in a real state. Well, what happened was my lawnmower uh, stopped working last week, so I managed to mow some of the lawn before it stopped working. I've ordered a new one and it has just arrived i've not actually even opened the box yet so that's something i need to do next get my lawn mode when the lawn's mowed it just makes such a difference uh, when the grass overgrows even just a little bit it starts to look messy so for my breakfast today i've made myself omelette and paratha traditional bangladeshi breakfast and i love it and I'm just boiling some eggs for my son and we're making some sandwiches for a small picnic that we're going to have on our allotment. My daughter made the sandwiches and I'm just wrapping them up and packing them away ready to take out. We decided to try the part baked uh, baguettes because unfortunately in the shops they don't have any bread I tried two or three different shops, uh, they don't have any bread, they don't have any um, tea cakes or anything. So this is all they had and actually I'm quite glad as well because they were really nice. I've not tried them before. So I'm just packing enough for my son and daughter because I'm going to eat when I get home. Uh, with all the work I'm going to be doing there I think my hands are going to be quite mucky and I don't really fancy eating in that sort of state so I'll just put the extra sandwiches in the fridge for later I received uh, my package for some seeds that I'd ordered I ordered them about a week ago and I received them yesterday I think so I think I'll take those out and get those planted because really ideally um, planting season is is almost going uh, most people's um, plants are almost ready to be planted out however most of mine are as well but this is just something sort of like last minute that I thought of and Here's my garlic. Now, it's just the one bulb. I wanted to try it out. So you just keep it dipped in water, but only the roots. And look at that. I've got roots on it. And that's almost ready to plant out. And this is my naga, uh, but jolokia plant. And it's already flowering. I'm really excited about this. It's a plant that I had from last year, so let's hope I get some fruit on there. Uh, this is my balcony, and uh, I got this plant here a couple of weeks ago, so I hope that grows. And just here, I've put some sort of, uh, to give us a bit of privacy, because my house is, um, it's on the main road, and it's just, kind of embarrassing going out onto the balcony so I thought I'd add a bit of privacy there but we're on our way now to the allotments parking is just a nightmare at the allotments because you've got houses all the way around so you've got the cars that belong to the residents and then the allotments are they're absolutely huge so big so then you've got all the people who are working on the allotments you've got their cars as well and it's just always so difficult to find a parking spot so we've had to drive around a couple of times before we actually got a parking spot here so this time we've brought a couple of chairs with us um, because when you've been digging for so long you just you need to sit down you need to just get a bit of a rest and plus because the kids are with me as well they'll want to sit down so I brought these two chairs and I'll be leaving them in the greenhouse you can stay here so today I've got my mum and my son helping me so what we're doing is we've 
dug all of this up and we're just breaking it all up now because it's all in lumps and clumps it's it's so painstaking digging is so much easier than breaking up the lumps and these are some of the plants uh, that I've brought from home there's cucumbers there's pumpkin and green beans I'm actually really grateful that I got the allotments this year because um, of course at the time we didn't know we'd be in lockdown but now that we are this is just proved perfect for the kids they absolutely love coming here uh, they like watering and just really helping out and even if they're not doing anything uh, just to sit down and watch and enjoy the sun it is difficult for the kids at the moment for all kids because they can't go out and they're locked indoors all day so something like this it's it's just perfect it lets them get out of the house and you know it's safe not only that but it's a learning experience and it's very educational for them as well and they're getting good fresh clean air as well my son wanted some wellies and gardening gloves so that he could uh, get stuck in however unfortunately I uh, I don't know what shops are open and I didn't really want to go to the shop so therefore I've just asked him to wear his old school shoes and I've just given him a regular pair of disposable gloves. He's happy with that though however um, he has said to me that I need to make sure I get him, I get him some proper boots and some proper gardening gloves. So it looks like I'm going to have to order in some online because I'm not traipsing around the shops, um, not in this sort of situation. So we're back home now after a long day at the allotments. We got quite a lot done, however. Um, we've managed to do two of our patches and they're quite big patches as well. And a third patch, I've done most of the weeding on it. So we're home now and the first thing we do when we get home is wash our hands properly and then I like to clean my door handle with some uh, anti antibacterial wipes. So after wiping the door down and freshening up it's time to have a late tea as it is quite late now and I've not got a lot of time, we're all hungry so I'm going to make something really really quick so I've chopped up some potatoes for some chips as my freezer is so jam packed that I've got no room for frozen chips but today I'm going to be making Chinese style takeaway chips and curry for the curry all you need is some water and some mayflower curry powder and if you've not tried this yet then you really are missing out because this curry tastes exactly like the one you buy from the takeaway you can't actually tell any different in fact sometimes I wonder are they using this one as well I can certainly tell you that the curry from my local takeaway tastes exactly like this I'm sure they're using this and it's really really simple to make so all you need to do is mix some powder in some cold water so I've already put my water on heat but I will be putting the powder in before the water boils if you put the powder in after the water's boiled then the powder goes all uh, lumpy and clumpy and it's really hard to get the lumps out after and I always like to take the lumps out of the powder before I actually put it into the water so as you can see here I've taken the lumps out and I'm going to put it in the water now my water's not boiled at all it's just gone warm so I put it in and I'm whisking it straight away whisking it continuously for a few moments and I've got no lumps in there whatsoever so you can just leave it on a low heat and whisk it every now and again um, or you can put it on a high heat and stand next to it and just whisk it continuously till you get your desired consistency 
I used five heat tablespoons to serve three. If you like it thicker, then I would recommend you put maybe six tablespoons in. So if you enjoyed my video, then please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And a laugh is for now. Goodbye.